What's up guys? It's your girl Saba. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Y'all, I know it's been a hot minute since my last video upload. <laughs> But your girl's been super busy at work, but I'm back and I'm better than ever and I've got the best fall recipe for us. It's the most moistest pumpkin bread you will ever try. So y'all, let's jump right in. First things first, we have a few housekeeping items. If you haven't already subscribed, click that red subscription button below and join the community. Our goal is to get to 500 subscribers by the end of this year. And if you know someone who would love this recipe, don't forget to share it with others. And if you want more fall-inspired recipes, let me know in the comments down below so I can feature it in an upcoming video. All right, so now that we got that all out of the way, let's jump right into this recipe. The first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. I have already done that. And then you want to get a mixing bowl. This is a large mixing bowl, but if you have a medium-sized one, that will work too. And now we're going to work with the ingredients. In your mixing bowl, you want to combine the almond flour, sea salt, sweetener, pumpkin spice, and baking soda. Add in your eggs, melted ghee, and pumpkin puree. Mix the ingredients well. I decided to use my new USA Pan mini loaf pan. They have four slots on each side. It's pretty deep and nice and wide for you to get some of the batter in. I am so excited to see how this turns out. Grease up the pan. I am using my ghee oil spray by Fourth Heart. It's time to put the batter into the pan. Yo, I cannot wait for you to try this recipe. I have been eating the batter as I've been putting it in the pan. Mm -hmm. Guys, it is everything, okay? Just the right amount of sweetness. It's nice and pumpkin-y, but not overly pumpkin-y. I barely had enough batter <laughs> to put in all the slots. But, let me stop eating real quick. This is what it looks like. Looks amazing, looks delicious, and I'm so excited, I'm ready to eat. I'm gonna put this in the oven for about 35 to 40 minutes. I took the mini pumpkin bread loaves out of the oven, y'all, and I am telling you, you're gonna love this recipe. Oh my gosh. I have to be honest and say, I'm not a big fan of like pumpkin stuff because I feel like people go overboard with everything pumpkin in the fall, so I'm not a huge fan. But mm, y'all, this is gonna be on your list. The full ingredients list and instructions will be on my website, savoringwasaba.com. That's where you can find this recipe and all of my other recipes I have featured here on this channel. Pumpkin mini loaves are good to go. They're nice and warm. How cute is this? Super cute, I love the size. Look at this. Ooh, can't tell me this doesn't look good, baby. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Look at the key, baby. This is just beautiful. One of the reasons why I love key is it's so spreadable and it's so easy to use. Mm, okay, guys. Delicious, okay? Perfection. Again. The moistness of it all. Sorry. Talk about my mouth open. The moistness. Oh my gosh. Number one. Number two. The pumpkin flavor. So good. If you're a coffee person, tea person, perfect. This would be a perfect addition. I'm not either of those. <laughs> I don't drink coffee or tea. A warm glass of milk. Mm -hmm. That's my jam, okay? And then a little bit of sweetness from the sweetener. Yeah. Oh. Like, this is about to be a whole thing for you on here amazing I'm gonna have some more y'all 
go to my website savingwasaba.com to get the full ingredients list and step-by-step -step instructions for this recipe if you haven't already subscribed join the community click that red subscription button below again our goal is to get to 500 subscribers before the end of the year and if you know someone who loves pumpkin recipes share this recipe with them if you want to see more fall inspired recipes drop a comment down below for me so i can feature one in an upcoming video so i'm talking with my mouth full go it's just too good i'm about to tear this batch up so thank you so much for watching everyone stay safe Happy savoring, and I'll see you in the next video.